Welcome then. My name's Tracy Davis. I'm uh, the Principal Social Worker in Adult Services for West Sussex. I've got a long um, career, long history in social work. Uh, I qualified back in 1996, so a, a long, long time ago. Um, but I've worked in West Sussex since um, for nearly almost coming up 20 years this year in a variety of roles. I've worked my way up and through the organisation in terms of frontline operational teams, team manager level and then into sort of service development um, and then a few years ago into the principal social worker role. Um, I love this role, it's all about improving practice, it's about best practice, um, quality assurance and I lead on the assessed and supported year in employment. Um, we're really lucky in West Sussex, we work in partnership with Chichester University um, to deliver a, an ASYE programme. The module side of it is accredited towards a postgraduate uh, qualification and so we have a, a, a set of uh, five modules um, with Chichester University jointly delivered and then we also have an internal sort of support programme which includes um, group supervision which is facilitated by people in my team um, we provide a lot of support and advice throughout the programme. Um, and one of the really, really important things is um, that we uh, provide quality assurance of people's portfolios of evidence um, throughout the year. And that's I, I say that's really important because it can help us identify people's strengths and where they've got um, maybe particular um, needs for support really early on in the programme. So we look to do that right after the initial sort of start up, then at three months review, then at six months, and um, we have a overall moderation process right at the end as well. What I would say is we've been running this programme since um, 2015, and there's not a single year that we don't learn something and look to improve. We are constantly looking to improve our ASYE programme. So a couple of years ago, um, we identified, you know, there was a couple of newly qualified social workers who'd come in and they were lacking a little bit of confidence. They were, you know, sort of struggling, sort of getting used to working in a statutory setting. And um, so what we did was decided to buddy them up with a another newly qualified social worker who'd recently gone through their assessed and supported year in employment. Um, and that's been really, really helpful. So that's something else, you, you know, based on individual circumstances that we can do. Aside from the ASYE programme itself, we've got um, a really clear career pathway and learning and development pathway. Um, we've got loads of um, learning and development sort of opportunities on our internal sort of learning and development gateway. And we provide you with a, an induction handbook, which will cover, you know, all of the key sort of information that you need as a newly qualified social worker coming into this organisation. So it will say stuff where, you know, where to find practice guidance, where to find like all the, the learning and development um, opportunities on our website. And we add, you know, review that on an annual basis and add to that as well in just the programme itself, there is a requirement, national requirement, that we provide you with a supportive environment with protected caseloads. So we look to gradually sort of increase your caseloads through the year and also increase the levels of complexity. We don't want you as newly qualified social workers coming in um, and feeling really pressurised in, in terms of taking cases that are too complex for wherever you are in your, your, your journey work. We also have uh, other um, career opportunities. So there's um, opportunities to train in other post-qualifying sort of specialist awards such as best interest assessor, um, approved mental health professional or practice educator later down the line. So you can then sort of grow and support other, other learners in, in the workplace.